be honest Eric. If America was split into two different countries one all the liberals and the other all the conservatives which one would you rather live in? Neither. They're both fucking annoying. You're the boring one? I said they're both annoying. This is taking too long. Who you telling bro? So bro, I know you're actually probably just sitting there playing fucking WoW. Just enjoying your whole ass night. Just vibing. Probably eating some chips. With a little fucking grin on your face, man. Pretty much 100% spot on. I fucking... <laughs> I fucking do it. Do you think you could survive a whole drive in the NFL? Like, yeah. Would it, be, would it feel good? No. I would survive. Would I get any yards? No. Eric, what do you think happens when we die? Nothing. Same as before when you... Same as like when you were born. Or before you were born. So depressing though. Wrong. Oh, you got the answer, dude. Incorrect. Oh, you got the answer, dude. Not really. It's kind of peaceful. I think that's so depressing. I think when I die, I'll go to Trump's America. <laughs> Hey Eric Cooper Trooper here with another hypothetical question. What up? If you had the power to correct one problem in the world, what would you fix? One issue in the whole world? Probably fix world hunger, I guess. There's so many options. Not racism? Uh, no. I mean, I, if I only have one choice, I don't like racism as the number one priority. As bad as that Black History Month? Okay, bro, okay, man, hey, okay. That just started, first of all. And my co obviously I think racism is bad. But of all the issues in the entire world, I'm, if I had one thing I could fix, I'm not gonna fix that. <laughs> Y'all gonna fix racism over some hungry children? They're probably racist. <laughs> okay. okay. That's what I'll die, there'll be food for everyone. Hey Eric Cooper Trooper here with another hypothetical question. What is the most important lesson to teach a child? Holy shit, bro. I don't... Can you give me a second? Being a decent person to other people. Like, uh... Because someone a different opinion than them, they shouldn't not like the person or yell at them or get mad at them. They should just be like... I don't know the word for it. I don't think respect would be number one. It's up there. Being decent to others. Yeah, when being... you clearly failed that now, didn't you? What are you talking about, bitch? When? I am a decent human, bro. If y'all knew me in IRL, I'd probably be one of the nicest people you guys will ever meet. You can't teach that if you don't even know how to do it. Jackass. You are? Oh, you go. I'm serious. I talk a lot of shit online because it's fun, but... You play a character? I don't well, really play a character. I just like, I'm just talking shit. When was the last time you helped an old lady? I don't know. I'm a very nice in person and so mean in here. I think a lot of people are. You're treating, I'm not scam a fucking charity. I never even touched the money from the charity, dude. I can literally, I never even, it never went to any of my accounts or anything. I actually lost $8,000 on that charity. Cause I was doing wheel spins with it, and every every time it, I got like a hundred bucks, I would do a wheel spin, and it'd be like how much money I had to donate. It was the stupidest thing I ever did. I should have land, landed on like five hundred bucks every time. So I think charity is stupid. I mean, bro, when I did that, I was not making enough money to where I could just drop eight thousand dollars. It was stupid, but I mean, for a good cause, it's not that stupid, but. I remember, like, I was, like, freaking out when I went to bed that night, like, sweating, bro. I was like, oh, shit, man. It's a damn boy crazy time. Yeah, but that wasn't my money, so I didn't care. Hey, Eric Cooper Trooper here with another hypothetical question. Would you still jack off if when you came your semen was just one big sperm, and afterward you'd have to fight it? Bro, you went from asking, like, genuinely good questions to what the fuck, dog. Eric, what would you do if you were a woman for 24 hours? I cannot say that on the broadcast.
How many five-year-olds do you think you could beat up if they were jumping you? Every single one in the world. <laughs> Actually, I don't know, man. Amy hits hard, bro. Amy has hit me before, and that shit... Hey, they, they, she hits hard. A five-year-old boy could probably hit you pretty... Like, there's like a lot of them, that shit would add up. You don't need to say it on the broadcast because well, you said it already. We all know if you were a woman for 24 hours, you'd be eating your like own farty money. Let him off the hook. He eat it from really put his foot on the gas to try to find that fin. Oh! Ooh, diving punch lands. Oh, you get a block. Shots here. Nice jab. Visualization. And it hurt him. Hey man, how's the triple threat going? Buddy, you know exactly how it's going. Why are you asking that question? Hey Eric Cooper Trooper here with another hypothetical question. Someone offers you $50 million, but you can never use the internet again. Would you do it? No. Bro, no games? Bro, y'all be spamming question mark at that. Bro, I know y'all fucking nerds are not going the rest of your life without internet. Or no games. Not every game needs internet. Bro, like multiplayer games? You go play single player games the rest of your life? Chuck Fuck the 50 mil. Question here. I just Why read a book, does he man. So weird? Does he have autism? How am I going to download those games, idiot? Well, you can buy a game. You're a millionaire, you can buy the game. You being a master of bitches who needs internet. Bro, y'all are so... <laughs> y'all really think... Bro, you are so stupid. That life would be cool, man, for a couple years. But they, bro, what about when you're older? Old bitches? <laughs> Mike Little. Test poppers. Japanese flag. Condoms. Wedding ring. Manual transmission car. Tyler. SSD. Breaking Bad. Uber. Did I scare you? Keck. <laughs> 